unexpected. <laughs> working at the office today I have a lot to do I'm here from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. today so it's gonna be a long day and hopefully I can get a lot of work done it is currently 10 30 and I right now am working on some rental properties for two new clients that I have I'm trying to find the best fit for them so far it's been kind of hard if you are in the Boston area you probably know that the rental market is just as crazy as the residential market basically from the home buying market as i should say everything just goes by so fast all of these properties are like either for way in advanced or they're already taken and they're like gone like that later i have to print out address labels i have to do stamps i have to put on return labels as well for um some marketing material that I do, which I will show you. Yesterday, I spent the day here in the city of Cambridge. I had an open house, which you would have seen a little tour of the house um, super quick that I did before the open house started. I was there on Thursday, Friday, and yesterday afternoon. We do have an open house again today. I will not be able to make it because I am here. It's not my listing. It is a listing of um, someone that I'm working with right now, and uh, she currently has three listings on the market, so she has two other people helping her out for those two other listings. Um, but I've been working hand in hand with her with this specific property. I have to do a lot of prospecting today. I have to send out my texts. I have to make phone calls. I have to do it all today. Today is like my catch up day. The past week I haven't been able to really catch up with my clients, really be on top of my game for prospecting because I've been so busy with these open houses and just running around to other properties of hers that I've been helping out with as well. And just learning, you know, it's all for a learning experience and really gets me out there and more comfortable in the future, having my own listing, having buyer clients, all of that stuff. Also yesterday that you would have seen, I spent the day in Cambridge with my mom. We just went shopping. We went to Somerville to Davis Square to go thrift shopping. That was really fun. I took a few clips for you guys, nothing too crazy. So it was a little short, but that's okay. No no intro or really anything that was explained that was going on but that's what i was doing yesterday today i have a lot to do so you're going to get quite the treat so i hope you enjoy hello good morning coldwell banker this is camilla speaking how can i help you <laughs> just saw right there, I just got a call um, for a townhouse that had just been 
and list it. And uh, she wanted to go see it and see if there was an open house today or just anything going on with the property for availability wise. Um, unfortunately, she realized that it's not the square footage that she's looking for. Um, she's looking for a bigger space. So I told her that I can add her to our hot sheet so that anything that comes on the market, um, she will be notified. Canva. I do everything myself. So this is my fall card. I made a summer card. I made a spring checklist. Um, yeah, so those are like what I do. And these specific ones I have mailed. So I will continue to mail these. Halloween I've already planned. Um, for the season I've planned to do door hangers so this next time I will not be doing mailing I've done mailing the past two times uh, one was a margarita so then these are fall checklist for how they can maintain their home and I think that I have some really nice tips on there for them to follow um, for Halloween I will be doing door hangers so I'll be going around the neighborhoods and hanging door hangers with some Halloween stickers um, and my business card attached. This is so your area can get to know you, can know that you are the one that's reaching out to them, sending them helpful tips, sending them random things, uh, just really showing in your effort of how you run your business. And also this can lead into future transactions because at that point, they know who I am, they know what I do, they know how much time I put in, they know I'm a real estate agent, and they know that I am there for them. So in the end, this list will continue to grow. I'm going to be adding in um, my recent rental closing as well as a few um, warm contacts of mine that I haven't sent anything to before. Um, and I'm just gonna throw some of these in there send those out as well because I have extra like I have tons of extra um, I've I think that I have made a hundred and four envelopes but I have bought in 150 envelopes and 150 cards so I have plenty to go through um, plenty to send out I don't spend a lot of money like the address labels I just print at my office we already have the labels here Stamps, I spend like $50 on 100 stamps, but I usually have a couple left over. My return labels, I paid like less than $15 for I think it's like 250 return labels. Uh, I got these off of Walmart. I had a really hard time finding where to get these, um, especially custom. So mine says Coldwell Banker on them, which I just added as an image into. The envelopes I bought on Amazon, they're like this. I don't really know if you can see like the glare from them. There's mailboxes right out front, so then I can just send them right up. having a quick break um protein shake and a little mini 
protein bar. These are my freaking favorite. If you never tried the perfect bar, dark chocolate chip peanut butter. So good. The best one in my opinion. And I have peanut butter cups in the freezer or fridge, whatever. Um, they're super good. So right now I'm just taking a little break. I'll probably order in some lunch. I'm thinking of having some sweet cream today because I got it the other day, but I was in such a rush and I was having such an awful day. It was like crazy. I had a raging migraine, didn't have my phone. It was insane and I just didn't get to enjoy my sweet green salad, which is just like so sad because I love sweet green. I'll probably place an order soon because it's already 11.55. Um, technically, if this was a regular shift, I would be done at 1, but because today's not a regular shift, I still have 4 hours to go. So, uh, right now, during this little break, I'm watching Emma Chamberlain's new video of her going to the Met Gala, and yeah. But when I'm done with this, I have to wash my hands because I eat peanut butter and I don't want any peanut allergy going on um, when I finish my mailers. But I'll probably order food and do my mailers and wait for my food to get here. By the time my food gets here, my mailers will be done. I just need to make a list of people that I want to send more mail to, uh, that I want to add to my list of farm, but also just kind of like a new mailing list, I guess. I want to add um, a couple people onto that. I just finished doing all of the stuff for my mailers. I just put them in the mailbox and it is 12:37, so pretty good timing i am going to order some lunch right now but i got a call and uh, i just have to double check if there is an open house for a certain property today that someone has called about <laughs> romaine with spring mix and then I get steelhead, raw beets, carrots, cucumbers, avocados. Uh, they just came out with this corn and pepper mix and then um, I just get pesto vinaigrette as the dressing. I'm gonna eat and I will check in with you after. It's also 1:41, so I have like a little bit over two hours but this camera is starting to flash so I might have to continue this on my phone, which is totally fine. No problem. So, as you can tell, I'm on my way home right now. I finished up at the office right at 4, put in all the stuff, and... Basically, the last little bit, I just kept on eating. I worked on editing this video. I also did some prospecting texts, but for some reason, whenever I do my prospecting texts, if I'm texting like too many people at a time, my phone will just like not send iMessage texts anymore and it'll only send like text message texts. So it's really weird and I don't know why that happens. So if you happen to know why that happens, please let me know um, because that would really help me out. I don't know if it's like because I'm sending out way too many at a time, but no leads. I did get a call to the office of someone asking for a certain property. Uh, that had been listed for sale sign outside, but unfortunately that listing is already under agreement. 
so there is no availability for them to go and see it. I uh, tried reaching out to them and being like, if you want, we can put you on the hot sheet, but no response, so I'm guessing they either kind of want to A, look on their own, or B, they already have a realtor that has done that for them. I'm not sure, um, but that's okay. Today was a really good day though. I got a lot done. I obviously still have stuff to do because the day's never over for a real estate agent. Uh, so when I get home, I think I'm going to edit the rest of this video so I can get it up as soon as I can because I'm, I'm trying to put in a lot more time and effort into my videos um, to make them as best as I can make them in the time that I can in like a timely manner. So that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you subscribe and please comment and let me know what you think. And yeah, bye guys.